Let me show you how to speed through and pass the gyro and RBI test. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Or if you're fancy, the gyro and relative bearing indicator test. Okay, so without overcomplicating anything, drawing lines and twisting our heads at funny angles, let's just break this down into its simplest form. We have the gyro that shows our aircraft's orientation and we have the RBI that points towards the station. In this example, we can clearly see that the aircraft is orientated to the west. So we click the aircraft pointing towards the west. Ooh. Now we look at the RBI. North will always be on top. East will always be towards the east. West is west, south is south. This will always remain the same. Therefore, we just need to compare north every time to our gyro's heading. So in this instance, how far do we need to go and in which direction do we need to go to get to west? on the RBI. So we go from north to west is 90 degrees to the left. So we move this needle 90 degrees to the left, therefore now pointing at north, therefore showing you the direction of which you need to fly. So we're facing west and the station is directly north. Therefore, the only reasonable answer is number five. And for those of you who are still slightly confused, what we can do is, is once we've moved the needle into its new position, we can place a station at the top, an aircraft at the bottom, and then we can just mentally move it across into that grid, and that will give us the correct answer. And I will just mention that it doesn't matter at this point which way the aircraft's facing, so you can have it facing northeast, southwest, however your brain works. I always have mine lined up with the arrow, but like I said, just have an aircraft at the bottom of that arrow, as a mental picture and just shift into that grid and you will get the correct answer. So we're gonna go for a few more and it should make a lot more sense. Okay, same drill. Straight away, we can see that the aircraft is facing south. So let's select the aircraft pointing towards the south and the difference between north and south. And again, the reason why we're doing that is because we're always comparing north on the RBI to our gyro heading. And a difference between these two is 180 degrees. So all we've got to do is just flip the direction of the arrow pointing southwest as opposed to northeast. And that's the direction you need to fly. So plop your aircraft at the back of the arrow, fly down to the tip, and that is your answer. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. To gain access to the SkyTest software and pass your part selection, click the link below. If you don't, you will fail your next check ride. No, God, please, no! And comment which test you would like to see next. Okay, so for our third and final example, straight away we can see that the aircraft is orientated north, so we can go ahead and select the north aircraft. Now, looking at the RBI, we'll notice that the difference between north and our gyro heading north is nothing, making this super straightforward, because all we've got to do is plop the aircraft at the back of this needle and fly it across to the tip. Therefore, it can only be three. I am the one, the way you're